But first weapon that's not a submachine gun to have a suppressor. That's pretty cool. That's oh oh that's a new weapon. What? Bro, it's got no recoil. Let me try and shoot. Oh, that's that's a one shot too. Yo, bro, we're back out here. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Honestly, I legit only just found out about this like five minutes ago. And if I'm being real, I wasn't even going to post a video today because I had like nothing to do. I didn't know what I was going to record on World War II. It's kind of, it's a little bit difficult right now. But a madness just occurred. And apparently, there's a way you can use the future DLC weapons coming to World War II right now. Like legit right now. You can use them right now. Where I got this information was from Prestigious Key. So his link will be in the description. You guys probably already know about him, but that's how I got this information anyway. But yeah, these DLC weapons coming. They're probably going to be coming this Tuesday, more than likely, with a new event. Or maybe I don't know. I'm not too sure. But they're gonna be coming soon either way because they're already like fully in the game and we can use it now, which I'm gonna be doing. Essentially, what you have to do is go onto your PS4 right here, go to your settings, your network settings, and you have to turn this off. Connection to the internet, turn that off, untick that. Then you need to restart Call of Duty World War 2. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm already on it, but restart it. Go on to local play rather than online. As you guys can see, this is where I am right now. I'm on a I'm on local play right here. But what you have to do right here, you have to go onto your classes and make sure you put on Wanderlust. So it's pretty self-explanatory from this point on. But Wanderlust essentially is the new basic training that I've added into the game. All you need to do is press triangle. And you'll keep cycling through weapons. And eventually, once you do this, once you're like offline, once you're on local play, if you keep cycling through, you'll eventually get to the new DLC weapons that are coming to this game. Not fully in the game yet, but you'll be able to use them. So that's what I'm going to be doing right here. Trying to do this. I'm assuming it might. I don't know. I don't know whether they're going to patch this. So I'm going to try and record this as quick as possible for you guys. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I really, I, I honestly don't even know. I've legit just found out about this. So we're going to be seeing what these DLC weapons could be. I hope there's some good ones. I actually hope there's some good ones. Again, these will probably be coming like as a group together when the next DLC weapon is dropped which is hopefully Tuesday but yo before I do show you guys gameplay of this make sure you guys smash that like button on this video real quick let's see how many likes we can get and also you guys you guys need to try it out yourself like for real hop in local play and do it for yourselves man also obviously make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new around here <laughs> Do this right here. I've never actually used Wanderlust, so all right. So we got the ice pick right now. Let's swap Nambu Type Two Machine Pistol ZK. I don't know what that is. There. Hold up. Can we get to the new weapons, please? Does it work still? Please tell me it does. It's gonna take a while because there's a lot of weapons in the game. To be fair. Oh, this is a new one. This is this is a. This is a Oh, oh no, I've got the wrong buttons on. This is a sniper with a suppressor on, right? Kill this guy. There we go. This is a sniper with a suppressor on. So this. There we go. All right, so hold up. This right here is a new sniper that we'll be getting to this game. I mean, it seems pretty cool. It's got a built-in suppress. Oh, yo! I just remembered you can't even get suppressors on snipers in this game. If you guys have forgot, you can only get suppressors on submachine guns in this game as of right now. But this is the first sniper, or first weapon that's not a submachine gun, I believe. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But first weapon that's not a submachine gun to have a suppressor. That's pretty cool. That's that's actually mad cool. Oh, oh we, we just choked the quad. We actually just choked the quad. But this feels nice. It's got like nice one shot kill range. Yeah, like to be fair, even though it's got a suppressor, I haven't actually had a hit marker yet. Let's inspect this. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Oh, get off of me, fool. Yo, I actually haven't got a hit marker. I'm shooting quite low. Let me try and shoot. Oh, that's that's a one shot too. Yo, wait, hold up. Let me try and shoot him like really low. Oh, that's a hit marker. Okay, so you can't shoot that low. There we go. You can't shoot that low. I'm pretty sure it's like waist up will be a one shot kill, which is pretty mad. <laughs> that's pretty mad. Hold on, let me try and get. Oh no, you see, it is suppressed. Remember that. So that's that's a plus side. You could. This might be a little bit OP actually. Yo, it's a one shot and it's suppressed, bro. All right, let me try and get a new DLC weapon now. Does this allow you to get attachments that wouldn't usually be on that weapon? Because I swear I just had a. I don't know. I think I skipped past it way too quick, but I had. Oh, that's a new weapon. I don't think this is in the game. The push dagger. I think it's a new melee weapon that we'll be getting in multiplayer pretty soon. But it's cool that we can already use these. It's definitely not intentional. <laughs> definitely not intentional at all. Again, all credit will be like linked in the description if you want to go check them out. Hold up. Bang, bang. Yo, this is kind of this is a more realistic melee weapon, to be fair. The rest, like the last one we got was like a what? A sword? <laughs> Which isn't too realistic whatsoever. So I mean this is a more I mean this is more, I don't know, believable to see in like a World War II game. Hold up, let's get this guy. I don't know. Melee weapons are kind of boring for me, so I don't really want to use this too much. You throw it? No, you can't throw it. You definitely can't throw the dagger. Bang, bang. All right, let's see what others we are. There might not be any more. I'm not too sure though. I legit, I legit don't know the weapons that are coming, by the way. I, this is my first time seeing it. I just found out how to do it. I was like, you know what? I need to try that. Can you usually put suppressors on pistols? Oh no, because I swear you couldn't. <laughs> I swear you couldn't. That's got, wait, all the pistols have got suppressors apparently. I don't know. Maybe that's a new feature. Maybe that's a new feature. You could put suppressors on pistols. I'm not too sure. Oh, hold up. Let me just get these guys off me real quick. All right. Bro, where are the other weapons? I'm sure these, I, seen, I think it's four of them. I'm pretty sure. Dinger. Oh, is this new? AVS 36. This this looks like the SVT. Oh, I think it. I think this is like a fully automatic. 
Oh my god. You know what? I think this is a fully automatic SVT. I think this is what... I think that's what this is. And bro, it's got no recoil. It's got... What? I've always wanted to use the SVT, but it's just like not worth it at all. I mean, it is pretty powerful, but the recoil on it is pretty... <laughs> oh, this is new. Wait, what's this? Wait. Is that a sniper? I'm, I'm too used to like switching. Maybe maybe it had iron sights actually. Yeah, that's a, that was probably it. You guys don't know how much effort it is to like switch through this many times to try and find one of the new weapons because I'm pretty sure again there's only four of them. Alright, so we got this. This is the suppressed sniper again. I'm pretty sure. Just with like an iron sight. I mean, bro, the iron sights look pretty mad. The iron sights are... The iron sights look pretty cool actually, to be fair. Like they're, like they're usable. They're actually usable. Oh, get no scope, clown. I want that automatic SVT back. I can't remember what it was called, anything like that. So, kind of went off it by accident. <laughs> Bro, I swear pistols can't usually have suppressors. I swear. Maybe it's just like, with. oh, here we go. Here we go. We found it. This is the automatic SVT. What's it called? The AVS-36. That's what this is called. We've got the AVS-36. I can't remember what the suppressed knife is called. You guys will have been able to see it anyway. But this is, I'm pretty sure this is an AR. We've got a new AR coming, a sniper and a dagger. That's what I'm getting from this so far. What a hit fires light. Okay. Oh, we got no ammo. See, look, this is the normal SVT. So you guys can see like the relation. They're both pretty similar. Yeah, this one's semi-auto in comparison to the full auto new one that's coming. But yeah, they're all the new DLC weapons that we're probably gonna see in the next update. Am I happy? I mean, I could be happier. I definitely could be happier. I would I would love like a new SMG. I mean the AR is cool, I guess. It's just I, I don't know. If it's just like a fully automatic version of a weapon that we've already got, then it's not that deep, if you know what I'm saying. But it's cool. I'm just down to get new DLC weapons. Either way, I just want to use something new. And this little sneak peek right here is pretty cool. Again, you guys can do this. All you have to do to be able to do this is again turn off your connection to the internet by going on your network settings on the PS4 and then restart Call of Duty World War 2, hop on, don't go online, go on local play, set up your own little game and you just hop on with Wanderlust on which is a new basic training which allows you to keep pressing triangle every time you press triangle though you'll switch weapons so be careful once you do cycle to like the new DLC weapon be careful like not to press triangle again or you'll lose it and you have to find it again but yeah man that's how you do it it's pretty cool it's pretty easy all around a brutal you can spectate or not spectate inspect your weapons by holding triangle instead of just pressing it if you just hold it long enough you'll be able to inspect your weapon real quick I want to try oh wait let me get this nope I didn't even need to switch that time. See, look, this is the sniper again. This is the new sniper. Fortunately, we can't see it with any camos on and stuff like that. But obviously, you can't really, can't really expect too much. Like, we're not even supposed to be able to see him now, to be completely honest. I don't know how this video is going to turn out either. I just wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible because I know a lot of you guys will want to see this. No scope. Wait. I want one. Oh, there we go. And we're on a vicious. Yeah, this one looks insane. This one actually looks sick. This is this is going to be sick. The hell? A suppressed sniper? That Hopefully, that's a theme. I, f I hope that's a theme to where, like, you can get suppressed weapons now. You know, of different types. So, it's not only submachine guns that will have suppressors. You know, they'll add DLC weapons to where... You know, if you really want to use a suppressed weapon of that type, you'll be able to if you get that new DLC weapon. Although, it's pretty annoying that you have to get this. Maybe, I doubt these will be part of a challenge. They'll probably be in supply drops. You can maybe get them with armory credits as well, as usual. But, yo, this is a quick scoping machine, man. I'm really enjoying this. I'm fully, I'm fully enjoying using this weapon. I wish I put more bots on, but I can't be going to restart it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yo, this is a good weapon. <laughs> this is going to be a weapon that a lot of people will use. I guess, the treating snipers, considering the, they did just like, completely nerfed them considering the added riot shields and riot shields don't really go down too well with snipers i'm just gonna keep using this until the ammo runs out and i want to get one final go with that new svt all right so this is called the wait hold up let me get let me get this kill so this is called the delis this delisil delis i don't know what it's called boys but you guys can read you guys can read I will... <laughs> i'm sweating right now by the way because it's so hot in the uk right now i wasn't even gonna record a video but then i heard about this stuff and i was like nah i have to i have to all right here we go we're back with it this is the AVS. There we go. Yo, it actually sounds pretty sick. I imagine this with... To be fair, I don't even know the attachments that are in it now. So, we could have rapid fire on. Let's inspect this weapon. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. It just looks like a standard AR that you'd see in this game, to be fair. But it's nothing nothing too special. But, yo, they all seem pretty good. Like, they all actually seem usable. That's a good thing. They're not weapons that, you know, that add into the game to say, oh, we've added DLC weapons, but they're just not usable at all, if you know what I'm saying. At least it's nothing like that. These, I imagine, to be usable within the game. Like, you'll be able to compete with other weapons, which is good. Yo, we're on a, we're on a long stream. I mean, we are against, like, recruit bots, so what do you expect? Yo, 
Get off me, clown. We get How many bullets did it take? I'll see. Hold up. I'll try and see for you guys how many bullets exactly it takes. One, two, three. All right, that's a three bullet kill. But anyway, man, that's the end of this video. Definitely smash that button if you did enjoy. Essentially, we got a new sniper, a new AR, and a new melee weapon. So, I mean, it's all pretty cool. Thanks for watching, man.